Antarctica has six months of darkness and six months of summer, and that the sun only rises and sets one time a year. That is complete and total bullshit. We'll see that in webcam footage in a minute. You'll see a little bit lower than their post is a post about the myth of the midnight sun because it's a myth. That's exactly why, and I've said this many times, if somebody's lying to you, there's a reason, right? So we're lied to as kids about the polar sun or the midnight sun in the south and the midnight sun in the north. If it's a lie, there's a reason behind it. Wouldn't you agree? Now you'll see here there's a letter from somebody who works down at the Antarctic and she's explaining when she gets to see the sun and she says of course the same thing that she sees six months of sun and six months of darkness simply not true we'll look at webcam footage which proves it and she even says at the end do you know why we get this well it's because the earth goes around the sun in 365 days that completes a year Okay, now we're going to look at some webcam footage and from this we should be able to figure out really easily that Antarctica can't possibly be a continent on the bottom of the globe. I wanted to point this out. If you do see a black circle appear over the center of the sun, this article says that on occasion because of the brightness of the center of the sun it will mess up the image sensors on the camera which creates a black dot right in the center of the sun. You can believe that if you want. I'll leave that up to you. If somebody researches it, though, there's probably some good information that you could find as to why we are seeing a black dot in the middle of the sun when it crosses the view of the camera. So we're going to be looking at four different stations. Uh, the first one is Palmer. And that's right there. Second station we're looking at is Casey. And that is on the other side over here. That's one of the Australians' bases. Uh, the next one is Davis Station. And we can see that one right here. And then out on the island, we have, um, I'm sorry, no, this one here is Scott Base another Australian one and then out on the island we have McMurdo which is near Shackleton's hut so this is a webcam footage and I will show you wherein lies the lie so you see the Sun come and go from your upper right to your upper left and let's watch the shadow of the stick that's straight in front of us so the kind of green one straight ahead let's watch keep an eye on that shadow and you'll notice that the camera simply resets so here comes the shadow towards us but why don't we get to see the shadow go around notice that the shadow of the green flag is coming around but we never see it go in front of the green flag why is that because the Sun isn't going around the continent if it was, we would see the sun go around, then it would be behind us. If the sun was behind us, the shadow of the green flag would be in front of it. But that never happens. What happens is the sun is coming in from the northeast, coming across the horizon and going off to the northwest. You can even watch the sky. If you watch the sky, you'll see it is circling north east to northwest not circling around us again if it was going around us we would see that flag pointing straight forward so this is just one of the examples we have got some more footage here to show you but if you just go look best place to go would be www.antarctica. Uh, gov.au slash webcams 
slash you can put Casey Davis Palmer and you're gonna get webcams for those particular stations pay close attention to the date and time up in the upper left hand corner and you'll see um, that there's definitely an issue with what we're taught one of the easiest ways to prove that also is the amount of time that it would get all day sun or all day night versus the North Pole and we've got people who live near the North Pole in Norway in Alaska in Canada and those people can tell us what they see and what they see does not match the opposite down in Antarctica meaning if in the North Pole they're getting four months of full sun then at that exact time the South Pole should be getting four months of full no sun doesn't happen at the most they get six weeks so it simply means we don't live on a globe now you'll notice here that they start when the Sun starts getting really low they'll actually blow a fog or a smoke or a could be even snow I don't even know what they're blowing but you'll see if you look straight ahead that there's a blower that blows along the horizon the reason for that is so that people who are down there don't get to see what the Sun is actually doing which is not circling their heads now I will admit that for six months I'm sorry yeah, six weeks a year Antarctica does get full Sun I've seen it um, on these webcam footages but it is not the, they don't have a view of the Sun so I know it doesn't make sense and I fully admit that we, this is something that we need to research because somehow when the Sun leaves to the Northwest and circles all the way on the other side of the earth in its daily path somehow it is remaining bright in Antarctica now is that because of something in the atmosphere is it being some sort of reflection not sure uh, but it does prove two things a that it needs to be studied B that it's not a globe because if it was a globe you would simply see the Sun do a complete circle above your head now we can see this flag straight in front of us tell me when why don't we see where's the shadow of the flag at the I don't know what would you say probably from 7 o'clock till midnight as far as a clock we don't ever see the shadow there see how the shadow starts at about 5 o'clock or no, that's about 7 o'clock and rotates counterclockwise we see it come all the way up to about 1 and disappear every single time that again comes down to if they're lying to you there's a reason if things are real you would have a 24-hour webcam think of the ISS we don't get to see 24 hours of footage from space it's just like we don't get to see 24 hours of footage from Antarctica but you can watch pandas for 24 hours or you can watch the grave of Andy Warhol and so what I'm saying is I've said a million times is use your head why wouldn't they show you 24-hour footage from Antarctica it's because it doesn't match what's in textbooks because it's not true what's in textbooks because it is not a continent on the bottom of a big ball mostly because you can't live on a ball there's a lot going for the flat earth yeah absolutely there's an awful lot going for it because I've analyzed every facet and detail of the flat earth with the exception of Antarctica which I'm looking into now and finding out that um, everybody has marched through that place
What's hovering over Salt Lake City? Is it a rocket, a blimp, a UFO? A strange object seen in the skies has residents scratching their heads. The craft floated overhead for several minutes before disappearing. Salt Lake air traffic controllers said their radar didn't pick up anything, and they have no knowledge. <laughs>